New to night neighborhoods plagued by prostitution in plain sight. Different parts of Southeast San Diego have become so overrun with prostitution that businesses are literally packing up and residents are living in fear. My acquaintance, Kimberly Hunt, has spent days speaking with people in these communities. She joins us live from SDPD headquarters downtown. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Wale. Yes, the crew and I did have to get out of the fray of what we will be talking about in those areas. So we're right here in front of the police headquarters downtown. But prostitution is so out in the open in parts of southeast San Diego, such as parts of Barrio Logan, Shelltown, Southcrest, and into National City. There is no other way to describe it other than to say sex is for sale in San Diego. Here's how one resident describes it. I can't tell you how many there are, but I can tell you either like three, four o'clock in the morning, sometimes five in the morning out there doing their, doing their, jumping on cars. When I, sometimes when I work at night, I come by and they, they try to jump on a car and I'm like, get away. I close my doors, lock my doors lock, and close my windows. The neighbors tell me that pimps play loud music all night long, they carry guns, and they have turned these areas into open air sex markets. And it's also bringing in a dangerous element. It is dangerous for the employees to get into and out of the business. It's dangerous for family members trying to get into and out of their homes. And this same neighbor tells me about the time that his niece was trying to just visit him and found herself in the clutch of a man trying to force her to get into a car. I'm a little unclear um, what actually happened when they tried to kidnap your, your niece. Would you just describe to me what happened? What happened is uh, my niece brought me a, a container that I left at the house and she, um, and I closed it when she left, I closed the door, but something told me to look out there and open the door. So I opened the door and I saw a Guy, one of the guys just trying to grab her from her wrist. So I ran out there trying to chase him and then he just ran, he just ran. One father and mother spoke to me with their two little children by their side. He grew up in these areas and said the rough parts of San Diego have never bothered him until the prostitution got so out of hand. His children can't go outside anymore. And after he confronted a crowd in front of his driveway, somebody put a bullet into the front of his house. Another woman too afraid to speak, even in shadow, told me that the music shakes the walls of her house all night long and she's forced to walk back and forth to her car in the middle of a line of pimps on the sidewalk who make it very clear they own the streets here. But it's not just neighbors. Businesses are also impacted. And coming up at 5.30, this is all a preview of a story, a special report at 11 p.m. tonight, where I will show you the things that I've just described to you. My photographers and I have gone into these hot spots. We have seen a lot of this for ourselves. And some of our video will shock you. This does not look like America's finest city, but we have much more at 5.30 and at 6 before that story at 11. Wale, back to you. Sex for sale in San Diego. It's hard to hear, but something needs to be talked about. Kimberly, we look forward to this report. Thank you so much.